Breaking news. Yellowstone's most powerful geysers erupt simultaneously, sending shockwaves through science. Iceland's volcano awakens again. Visitors flee in panic as Steamboat and Old Faithful unleash their fury. Scientists scramble to decode the mystery. Yellowstone National Park has become the epicenter of a geological crisis today, as two of its most iconic and powerful geysers, Steamboat Geyser in Norris, Geyser Basin, and Old Faithful in Upper Geyser. Basin erupted almost simultaneously, sending towering jets of boiling water and steam high into the sky. The dual eruption, an extremely rare and potentially alarming event, has left visitors in shock and scientists in a state of urgency as they investigate whether this signals a larger geological shift beneath America's most famous supervolcano. As if Yellowstone's turmoil wasn't enough, Iceland has also erupted once again, sending fountains of lava cascading across the landscape igniting fears of an interconnected surge in global volcanic activity. Could this be a warning of something so even greater on the, the horizon? Of the, system, of the, volcanic system. the unbelievable moment. Steamboat and Old Faithful erupt together. At precisely 10, 45 a.m. local time, the ground beneath Steamboat Geyser, the world's tallest active geyser, began trembling violently. Witnesses reported a deep rumbling sound like a distant explosion, followed by a violent jet of water surging over 350 feet, 107 meters, into the air. The sheer force of the eruption sent blistering steam and mineral-rich water cascading down, scalding the boardwalks and forcing hundreds of visitors to flee in terror. Come on, come on! Major, Major hurry! We're serious, this is hot water. Move, move, move! This is a big eruption. Just minutes later, nearly 30 miles away, another explosion rocked the park this time from Old Faithful, Yellowstone's most famous and frequently erupting geyser. Unlike its typical timed and predictable eruptions, today's event was far more powerful and erratic, with columns of superheated water exceeding 200 feet, 61 meters lasting nearly double its usual duration. Visitors describe terrifying moments. Tourists visiting both geysers were left stunned and panicked. I was standing near Steamboat when suddenly the whole ground shook. It felt like an earthquake. The next thing I knew, this massive jet of water shot into the sky and the steam just engulfed everything. People started running. Some were crying. It was chaos, said Mark Davidson, a tourist from Colorado. Over at Old Faithful, visitors experienced an equally frightening sight. We were waiting for the usual eruption, but this one was different way taller, way longer, and way scarier. People were stepping back because the steam was coming toward us. Rangers started shouting to move back described Emily Harper, a park visitor from California. Park rangers were forced to evacuate both areas as concerns grew over unpredictable geothermal shifts. Scientists alarmed, this is not normal. Geologists and volcanologists at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, YVO, have been left scrambling for answers. We have never recorded an event where both Steamboat and Old Faithful erupted within minutes of each other at this intensity, said Dr. Michael Reynolds, a leading USGS scientist studying Yellowstone's hydrothermal activity. This could indicate a rapid buildup of underground pressure, something much deeper happening within the supervolcano's magma system. Experts are now analyzing seismic readings and thermal imaging data to determine if today's eruptions signal an increase in geothermal activity that could foreshadow more extreme events in the future. 
Could this mean a Yellowstone supervolcano awakening? While the Yellowstone caldera remains dormant, experts warn that these types of unusual hydrothermal events can sometimes be precursors to deeper magmatic movements. The hydrothermal system in Yellowstone is connected to a vast underground chamber of molten rock, explains Dr. Samantha Hayes, a volcanologist at the University of Utah. Explains Dr. Samantha Hayes, a volcanologist at the University of Utah, if pressure starts increasing, we could see more explosive geyser activity, more earthquakes, and potentially even a shifting of magma closer to the surface. Some scientists are now monitoring Yellowstone's ground deformation, as even a slight uplift in the land could suggest that magma is moving within the system. Visitors evacuated, boardwalks closed. In response to today's event, Yellowstone officials have temporarily closed boardwalks around Steamboat Geyser and Old Faithful as a precaution. For the safety of all visitors, we are conducting a thorough assessment of geothermal activity in the park. We urge visitors to remain on designated trails and follow ranger instructions, stated Yellowstone Superintendent Lisa Green. Tourists who had planned to visit the Upper and Norris Geyser Basins have been advised to avoid the areas until further notice. Meanwhile, Iceland erupts again a global connection. As Yellowstone boiled over, Iceland was simultaneously struck by another violent volcanic eruption. At 4.30 p.m. local time, a fissure on the Reykjans Peninsula ruptured, sending rivers of molten lava oozing across the land burning down infrastructure and sending ash plumes thousands of feet into the sky. The Icelandic Meteorological Office, IMO, confirmed that this marks the third major eruption in just months, raising concerns that the region is entering a period of increased volcanic unrest. It's almost too coincidental to ignore Yellowstone's most powerful geysers erupting at the same time as another Icelandic volcanic explosion. We need to investigate if there's a deeper global seismic connection happening right now, says Dr. Lucas Haynes, a geophysicist at MIT. Is the Earth entering a period of increased volcanic activity? The simultaneous eruptions of Yellowstone's geysers and Iceland's volcanoes are fueling speculation that Earth's geothermal systems may be experiencing a surge in activity. Some scientists believe we could be entering a global volcanic uptick, where underground pressures build up across multiple regions, leading to more frequent and powerful eruptions. In 2024 alone, several major volcanic and geothermal events have occurred, including 